Who should you be picking in your Bassmaster Fantasy Fishing Group on the Get Your Fish on Mr. Bass Group? We're going to talk about that right now. So real quick, if you're going to play fantasy fishing, join a couple groups. Our boy Hellabass has one. The password to his one is Visor, V-I-S-O-R, all lowercase. Join his channel, help him out, and win some of those prizes from him too. So if you're new to fantasy fishing, we have a group over there at Bassmaster. Uh, Bassmaster.com, click on that fantasy fishing, find the group, get your fish on, slash Mr. Bass, and sign up. No. <laughs> the password is Bass. B A S S. We're gonna have weekly prize or prizes each for each tournament for the winner, and then an overall prize for stuff. It'll be tackle and that kind of stuff. But if you want to subscribe and and try your luck, it's free. So good luck. However, we need to talk about who you should be picking in your lineup. Now I'm going to be looking at my computer while I still talk to you. And we're going to start off by how this works. You should be going into, uh, you go in there and you can pick one person for each group. There's three groups, A, B, C, D, and E. There's some definite guys that you should look at. So we're going to start from the back, start from the back and, and go to A. So in group E, let's just get right into it. Rick Clun is a fantastic pick here. Uh, Rick is always seems to start off the year really hot, knows St. John's really, really well, has won recently. They're not going to find grass out there, and that might have some influence on how Rick is going to do, but a pretty darn good pick here. And really, that's what we're going to go over. There's some guys that you should really be looking at, maybe some sleepers too. Uh, and hopefully this helps. Now this is, uh, I'll, I'll probably be completely wrong, but I'm going on past experiences and just stuff that I know. Another guy you should look at is Bernie Schultz in that group E. Great, fantastic angler. Bernie lives down here, so he knows the St. John's uh, like the back of his hand almost. Again, he's a, he's a good worm fisherman, he's a good power fisherman, and that's going to be crucial right now. They're probably going to have some spawning fish out there to the, uh, next week. So Bernie is a really good pick. However, my absolute, I think, best pick you could have is Justin Atkins. Now, Justin left Major League Fishing, had to qualify through the Opens. Justin is an absolute amazing angler. I think Justin's, in, I don't think Justin deserves to be in Group E, to be honest. Justin did really well on Major League Fishing, and Justin is a great angler from Florence, Alabama, and he knows our fishery really well. So in my opinion, and this is just my opinion, if you go with any one of those three guys, you're in pretty good shape, but also you want to look at, you know, you can make yourself a little bit different if you find somebody that you like is, is better in that group. Group D, as you get to these these later the, the later groups, you don't see the bigger name people. However, there's a couple guys on here that are just really great, great anglers. To start off with, Mark Menendez did really well a couple years ago. Great angler. Probably will do pretty well again this year, too. Also in Group D is Bill Lowen. Now, now I know Bill doesn't like our fishery that well, but pretty solid pick at this in, in Group D. However, there's one guy in here that just overwhelmingly is going to do well. It's his hometown. It's his home pond. It's not even his home pond. It's his home lake. He knows everything about Palatka. And as a, a girl told me a few years ago, there's only two things to do in Palatka. Fishing and... You thought I was going to say something else. It's fishing. There's only two things to do. Fishing and fishing. I'm joking about that. The other thing is a swear word. But I didn't want to say it. Uh, so if you're not picking Cliff Prince here, um, you're really taking a gamble. Cliff Prince should be the winner uh, in that group. 
just because of his knowledge of the area, and he's a, a really solid pick at in the Group D. In Group C, we start to see some bigger name guys start showing up here. People like Scott Canterbury, uh, Angler of the Year a couple of years ago. Really strong angler here. Pretty Usually does pretty well. Keith Combs is in this category too. You'll see people like um, Scott Martin, who should probably have a pretty good uh, tournament there too, Florida angler. Chris Zaldane is also in this. Chris Zaldane usually does really well here too, but you're going to find out that there's really one person, in my opinion, that you should go with here, and that's John Cox. John Cox is from DeBerry, which is on the St. John's, a little further uh, south. But John is an absolute stud on the St. John's River. He guided there at one point in time, a little, like I said, a little south. But I think overall, if you're going to pick somebody, it's either John Cox or I didn't say his name, Brian New in this one too. Brian New, a really great angler from um, South Carolina. So both those guys are really, really solid picks at this Group C for the fantasy fishing. I believe as you get up into that Group A and B, and we're gonna talk about Group B right now, you, it, it actually gets harder to pick the anglers because now you're starting to see all the big name guys. People like John Cruz and Drew Benton and uh, Jacob Poroznik is, is coming back, his first tournament back too. Gerald Swindle's in this category. Chad Pipkins is usually pretty good in here. To be honest, Stephen Kennedy is really good on the St. John's. Kyle Welcher, who had that 10 pounder last year, all great anglers, all should do really well. I think uh, Drew is a pretty solid pick at this one. Drew Benton is a pretty solid pick at this one. I also think J uh, Jacob Prosnick is a really solid pick here in Group B. But in my opinion, there's one guy that just stands out amongst all of them and probably is one of the favorites and looks like he is one of the favorites, John Cruz. John has been, is seems to always do well on the St. John's. He's Every time I've I've covered the St. John's, I've always seen John catch catch him and he catches them in different spots and you know he's probably going to be throwing a ned rig or something like that small finesse type stuff john is a really solid pick in the group b but i really don't think you can go wrong with swindle or or jacob prosnick or and and cruz and drew benton i think all those guys are just fabulous anglers in this category And finally, Group A, where you get every big name person. Hank Cherry, Jason Christie, Brandon Cobb, Seth Feeder, Alex Felix, Greg Hackney, and everyone else. This is Mike Iaconelli being back. This is Patrick Walters. This is Brandon Palinick. This is a who's who's of the, the best anglers on the Elite Tour. I think you could see, you can make a point to see Jason Christie do really well. Jason is arguably one of the top anglers in the world still. Fantastic angler. Seth, coming off his Angler of the Year last year, another solid pick here. I think Greg Hackney has a great chance to win. It always starts off hot. And really, I think after last year, he might have been, I don't want to say he was disappointed, but the start he had last year, I think everyone was saying he's going to win Angler of the Year. Greg got off to a great start here last year on the St. John's, and I think he has a great opportunity to get out there again. Iconelli coming back. I think you'll see Iconelli, and Iconelli will be fishing someplace in a different spot than everybody else. A few years ago, Mike Ortigo with Tackle Webs got to fish with, with Iconelli on the St. John's, and he was fishing an area that nobody, I, I would never think anyone would go fishing, but he was finding him and did really well. And then you have your other anglers like uh, Brandon Palinick, who always fishes great at the St. John's, always seems to be catching the right fish. Uh, always, It seems like he's always missing that kicker fish. But Brandon last year fished close to the where they launched and did fantastic. So Brandon Palinick is a great, great pick here. 
really you can't go wrong with any of them but the one that stands out the most to me in group a is patrick walters and patrick is just consistently good on the st john's it's almost like the st john's is his spot and he's from south carolina patrick in my in my opinion patrick walters is the best pick in group a i think he is he's had he's had a bunch of top tens and when you when you put all that together uh, I really think that consistency has something to do with it. Now, having said that, these guys aren't going to find grass. Uh, they might find some lily pads. They might find some stuff like that. The water has completely changed over the last few years. And Patrick's adapted to that. And all these guys are going to have to adapt. This is going to be a, a different year for the elites up there on the St. John's for, for many reasons. I, I do think that they're going to find spawning fish. I don't think it's going to be a post-spawn. I think they're going to find spawning fish. I think you're going to see some big fish because the weather was cold this past weekend and is slowly starting to warm up. So I think next week should be a great should be a great tournament for the elites on the St. John's. I mean, they've been there like five or six years in a row, it seems like. And then right after that, they'll come to the Harris Chain to fish another Florida fishery. So it should be really good. So hopefully this helps you a little bit with the new fantasy fishing with Mr. Bass and myself. Again, if you go to Bassmaster.com, click on the top, it's like fantasy fishing, and then look for the group, get your fish on, slash Mr. Bass. And the password is B-A-S-S. -S. We're gonna have some giveaways and some other stuff, uh, some gift cards that we're gonna give to you from some people, and you'll be able to pick out the, the tackle that you want. So good luck and have fun. Let's have fun with it. That's what it's about. Don't get too mad if you don't do well or if I tell you to pick somebody and they suck it up. That's just how it is. These are just my picks that I think are pretty well. And, and really, it'd be nice. I hope Mr. Bass will do one of these two and put it on his channel. So, guys, thanks for hitting that like and that subscribe button. Make sure you take a kid fishing and get your fish on. Good luck, and we'll see you all soon. Cheers. Hit like and subscribe, take your own kids fishing. <laughs>